Hello, I'm Hugh and today we will look at some idioms commonly used in English and then we will look at a few in detail related particularly to a theme that's very popular with everybody, the weather. Firstly, what is an idiom? Idioms are used very often when we speak in English. They can be understood if we practice them like all aspects of English. As we say, practice makes perfect. Luckily, many idioms in English are similar to idioms in Russian too. An idiom is a commonly used expression whose meaning does not relate to the literal meaning of its words. For example, let's paint the town red. We don't plan to go to the town with a paintbrush and start to paint everything in the color red. What do we plan to do? This means we're planning to go out and have a party, have a good time with our friends, for example. In English, we have many, many, many idioms and they can be difficult to remember. It may help you if you have an image in your mind to create an association. Think of a crazy man with a can of red spray paint going into town and painting walls and footpaths and roads and even cars, for example. When we discuss idioms, they can often be grouped into various themes. Today, we will look at some common idioms connected with the weather. Firstly, when it rains, it pours. If we think about this literally, what does it mean? It means every time it rains, we have very, very heavy, strong rain, which of course is not true. We can have light rain, we can have a shower. What it means is when things go wrong, other things can go wrong too. Last night, I went home on the metro. There were some technical problems. I was delayed by 30 minutes. My stress level was going up and up and up. When I got to my metro station near Moscow State University, the last bus had gone. So I thought, I'll get a taxi. I went to get the taxi. I checked my wallet. I didn't have enough money. I had to walk home and I was exhausted when I got to my apartment. When it rains, it pours. When things go wrong for us or we are unlucky, we can expect it to get a lot worse. Another popular idiom we have connected with the weather. He was a breath of fresh air. So a person can't literally be air, can they? It's impossible. Think about it. This idiom means he was in the right place at the right time. He was a relief in a difficult situation. I had a meeting with my boss last week. He wasn't happy. He was shouting at me. He told me I needed to work harder, sell more products, or I was going to get fired. How did I feel? I was upset. I didn't know what to do. My friend called me and asked me, did I have time to meet him? I thought, perfect, like a breath of fresh air. I was ready to meet with my friend. We met at a bar, we laughed, we told stories. I forgot about all my problems. This guy was in the right place at the right time. He was a perfect friend to me when I really, really needed it. Another idiom we have is, I was feeling under the weather. I can't literally be sitting or standing under the weather, can I? No, it's just not possible. After I met my friend, after I had a lot of beer in the bar, the next day I was feeling very, very under the weather. I was feeling ill. I had to stay in bed all day long. I even had to call my boss and say, boss, I'm feeling under the weather. Next time I need a breath of fresh air, I'm going to go for some tea and not beer. Thanks for watching me on Puzzle English. The next time we will continue with some more idioms about the weather.